Are you looking to buy a new charger and you're confused, you don't know which one you need? Is it a QC? Is it a PD or a PPS? Well, a lot has happened since the days of the Galaxy S5 and it's weird 3.1 USB connection here. Funny thing is, if you lost that cable, like I did, I don't know where it is, you can use a micro USB and just hook it up to this side over here. And look, it'll charge it, but it will just be slower. All right, so what does the letters mean? So PD means power delivery. Let me get my chart here. PD means power delivery. PPS means programmable power supply. And quick uh, QC means quick charge. So this old Samsung S8 uses QC 3.0. There's also QC 4.0. There's only been one phone that I know of that uh, it's capable of that. That's a model uh, racer phone, I think it is. And there's also now QC 5.0. So I don't know if any phone can do that. What's the difference between PD PPS and QC? Well, PD PPS is a free technology invented by the USB Implementers Forum, USB-IF, means the company, if they use that technology, they don't have to pay. So an iPhone uses PD, they don't have to pay for that technology. Even though they're using a lightning port, the technology to charge the phone is PD. So the new phones, the new Samsung, starting from uh, the S20 was the first one, it's capable of using the PPS protocol. Newer Samsung phones also use the PPS. So if you have a Samsung phone and you want to take advantage of that charging pro protocol, you need to get a PPS charger. For example, I have here a OnePlus brick here that came with my old OnePlus 8T phone. And this thing charges warp charge 65. So 65 watts, but with the original cable. Something with the cable, it has to be original cable. If you use a different USB-C cable, or if you use it to charge a Samsung, it's capable of doing PPS 3.3, 16 volt, 3.8 max, so 45 watt max. So this thing has PPS technology, even though it's, I think it's two or three years old. You could take a look at this one on Amazon and That'll be your best bet if you have a new Samsung and also if you have a new iPhone. In the future, you never know if iPhone is going to incorporate that PPS technology. And if you already have the charger, well, you're one step ahead. So let's jump over to the computer to talk a little more. All right, look, check it out. See how it doesn't say PD? Now I switch to PD. The iPhone 13 Pro using the car charger switching to PD charging. You can see it went all the way to 18. Now using a adapter from USB-C to USB-A, I hooked it up to the QC port. And you can see it only goes up to about 7 watts and it doesn't say PD. Now this is the OnePlus 8T using the red cable, which is USB-C to USB-C goes to 16 watts. Remember, the wattage only goes up to, it all depends on how much charge the phone already has. So if it's 
above 80, it's not going to do it, it max capacity. So I switched, I did the same thing here. I switched it to the QC port using the adapter. And now it's only doing 7 to 8 watts. See the difference? Now I'm using the brick here, the OnePlus 8T brick with the black cable here with the USB-C to lightning adapter. Does the same thing. Charges normally and then it, look, it resets and it starts reading PD wattage. You see it goes up to 18. It might go up to 19 and back down. It all depends on how much watts or how much charge the phone already has. Oh, let's try it out with the OnePlus 18 using the red cable. PD charging. It's charging normal. And you can see it goes all the way to like 41. Again, it's not the original cable, so it's not going to be able to do the 65 warp charging, which is something different. And here we go with the black cable, which is lightning, and this adapter that changed, well, USB-C to lightning, red cable, I mean. And you can see, check it out. So you see how it, it stopped and then it started back over again and it kind of changed to PD and it gave it more watts. So that, that, that adapter is nice to have around in case you only have USB-C cables and you want to charge a, an iPhone. So this is the brick that I would get if I didn't have the one I have right now. I'll leave a link on the for the Amazon link. This is all the connections and how it works. These are the cables that I use. I don't have the one in the middle, USB-C to USB-C. Some wireless charging options here with a clear transparent case. Something cool and new happening over there. And I have this, I currently have on this Anchor 3-in-1 wireless charging station, which works awesome and i will also leave a link down below thank you for watching peace out